Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. Big Glow. <laughs> Glorilla. Welcome. What it do? You know, you made it on uh, Angela Yee's last couple of days. Yeah, and you after know. after Friday, she And let me tell you something. Yeah. You know, FNF is the, is the theme song for me when I get out of here. For real. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> That's not funny. What? Oh, is that offensive? Oh, I- well, the fuck, nigga. So she's talking about you. you. No, <laughs> it's more singular. You. you. Okay. Well, we're we gonna be free from all of them. Okay. All of them. But welcome. Congratulations on everything. The BET Awards. You're nominated the Grammys. for a Grammy. Thank you. How's How it are feel? you? Life's great. I feel super blessed. <laughs> like super blessed. Did you think it was gonna happen this fast? Like from the time you met Gotti to just stardom that you're having? Did you think it was gonna happen this fast? Nah, I ain't think it was gonna happen this fast. Like it's still surreal to me. Okay. It is true you put that in the atmosphere, though, because the EP is called Anyways, Life's Great. Yeah. And I feel like life is great. Life's like, super great. Yeah, you got to <laughs> put it out there like that and, like, will things into being. Yeah, I'm definitely got to manifest. It's a lot of power in the tone. Mm-hmm. I'm firm on it. Now, I, I love listening to the EP as a woman, but I know men love you, too. And that's something that I saw them talking about on social media, how different that is when there's a woman rapper and the guys is blasting it also. Because yeah. I know sometimes guys could be funny about that. Yeah, because um, I actually know a lot of uh, dudes that be like, they don't, list- they don't listen to female rap. And so, like, when I started hearing a lot of them say they be listening to me, like, it just warm my heart. I'm like, oh, my God, y'all be listening to me? <laughs> and I be talking shit about them. <laughs> I know. They over there singing F and F. Like, you talking about them. They be reversing it, though. Because, like, I, I, like, the music I make, I reverse The music. The music. <laughs> <laughs> I love the that music. music. <laughs> the music. <laughs> <laughs> like, but they can reverse it and say it towards females and still feel. It don't hit the same, though. Nah, it don't hit the same. <laughs> so more for people powerful. that don't, don't know, let's start from the beginning. How did you meet Gotti? How did you sign with CMG? How did that come about? Um, So Gotti was one of the first people hit me up, actually, like the second day, second, third day after if and if drop. But, like... Everybody was flying me out when if and if first dropped. Like, all the labels. I was going to a lot of label means. And so, I, I it actually took me some time to get to Gotti. Like, it took me, like, about a good two weeks after he called because I was just around with everybody else. And so, when um I had finally linked with him, it was on a yacht. We had met on the yacht and stuff, and we was just chopping it up. And then the rest of history. Why How you, you get to Gotti last, though? Gotti right there in Memphis. Right, because yeah. it's like, I don't know. I, I probably was scared. What? Scared of what? I don't know. Like, because he just from Memphis. And, you know, like, I was just scared. <laughs> now, is it true that God, they say they say God, if you hot in Memphis, you got to sign with, with Gotti. If not, he, he ain't going to fuck with you. No, nah, because um, that ain't like that at all. Yeah. Pooh Shiesty. Oh, that's true. Yeah, no, yeah he messed with a couple. Yeah. Of people that, yeah, I was gonna ask. So, what 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 made you sign with Gotti after having all these meetings with all these different labels? What made you say, and like you know what are, and what other labels? Like, where did you go during those two weeks? I ain't gonna say the names of the labels I went to, but all the majors. It's, it it was a couple. Mm-hmm. It was it was. I ain't gonna lie. It's a lot of almost. I ain't gonna say. Every, but almost every label reached out to me. Mm-hmm. Did they try the? Okay, we're not gonna let you leave until you sign. No, Nobody. you know, they weren't like that. It's like the stuff they were talking about, it wasn't, it was okay, but when I linked with God, it's like he knew my potential. Like, a lot of labels didn't really know my potential. You know what I'm saying? They was trying to, like, bare minimum, because mm-hmm. they not knowing, you know, but... Because mm-hmm. the record when, just had dropped at the time, yeah. so they didn't know, it, it didn't catch like it was supposed to then... So what made you say Gotti was the one? Was it the potential? Was I, it the money? Was it? The... I saw you say something where you said that the other labels sounded real, but Gotti felt real. Yeah, like it, it, it felt right. Like they was like, like when they heard certain stuff, like they was they'll just be like, uh, deal breaker, yeah. uh. But like when I linked with Gotti, he instantly he already knew what was up. He was like, let me hear what else you get, cause he said that on the phone. He was like, I want to hear what else you got, you know what I'm saying, besides if So as soon as I pulled up and we was on the yacht, I instantly hooked up to the Ox, played all my unreleased music, and he was just, <laughs> we was just on the yacht vibing to all my unreleased music I got. So he was like, it just felt right, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like I said, he believed in me, like he believed in my other music. Like a lot of labels were just looking at If and If, and mm-hmm. If and If only, and seeing what they could do with it, but he was just looking into the future. 
You think people still front on the Memphis sound? Like they still think it's regional? You think? Um, you you mean like you think they sleep on it? Yeah, like other like the labels, like being that they're not from Memphis and they don't understand, you know, the, the the great music that comes out of that region. You think they still like think it can't be national? Like it just sounds too Memphis? Yeah, I re- I do feel like it. Mm-hmm. Really. Uh huh. I think Memphis got some of the hottest artists. I, I think I, Memphis runs the I've been game saying right that now. for the past yeah, two Memphis years. Yeah, Memphis is hot. Like, mm-hmm. Memphis y'all been running shit for like the last couple years. Easily. But it's like, we, like you said, we got our own sound. Don't nobody else sound like Memphis. Like, you know, nobody like I don't know about it. Like Memphis. <laughs> yeah. Nobody. Like nobody you know sound already. Like, yeah, nobody sound like New York. Don't nobody sound like Chicago. Mm-hmm. But this how Memphis is. We just so turnt and crunk with it. Who'd you bring on a yacht with you for the meeting? Um, my manager. That was just the two of y'all. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cause I know you know you got all your friends and everything. That they don't know how to act. That might have been a t- that might have been a time. Like I got to see how you going to treat my friends too when I. <laughs> uh no, it was just like, you know, my friends be with me when I'm turning up, but when it's time for business, it's time for business. Mm-hmm. Now yes. we 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 talked about you earlier this week. It was a topic that we had on the Breakfast Club. <laughs> We were talking about you and your ratchet ass friends, as we call them. I'm just busting. <laughs> but, but you were saying that you can't find love in the club. Uh huh. And we were saying that that's, that's, that's not necessarily true. No, you that's what they said. I agreed with you. I said, I'm, I'm 44. My old ass ain't in no club. So if you tell me that there ain't nothing but hoes in the club, I got to listen to you, boy. Right? Okay? We said you can find love in the club. So break that down. There's no love in the club? I'm saying, you know, it's a chance. <laughs> but like, I was really speaking on. Me being from Memphis, like, I really don't go to clubs like the end. When I did go to clubs, it was in Memphis, but I got dried out, like, on clubs. But it's like, when you go in the club, you see the same people, and they just in there, standing around, what they doing? Looking for the hoes. Okay. <laughs> now, what was you doing? Looking for the hoes. Looking for the hoes. <laughs> okay. Them all, all right. saying, like, what, like, <laughs> just be, like, serious right here. Like, a dude going to the club, what, what you doing in there? It trying could to be drink, somebody's birthday. Trying to get some pussy. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Same thing with women. They going trying to get a <laughs> no, drink. But what, to get if some exactly. what if it's his homeboy's birthday and he like his homeboy wanted to go to the club to celebrate? Oh, he may be he looking for a that. girl. So, all right, so let me ask you. Exactly this. looking for No, nah, you looking for no love. girl in the club. Yeah. Where else where else he gonna He's go? looking for he a gonna wife. find one in church. He ain't going to church. You can find a woman in church. That's you can right. find one anywhere in a store. Target. On internet. Home Depot. You but it's like So you think the internet is better than the club? Because the internet they be looking for hoes. Allegedly, the I don't internet know. Hey, sounds worse to me than the club because you could reach out to anybody from anywhere <laughs> and get myself in trouble. hit up like a thousand people at once. I just feel like if you go into the club, you there to have a good time and go home and have a good time afterwards. Like, you there to get drunk. Why you want to get drunk for no reason? I believe you. <laughs> See, they, they speaking from the disco era. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was. Exactly. You think people went to the club for different reasons before than they do now? You asking me that? I'm asking them because, you know, from before, I think it's the same thing. Like, people go to the club to have a good time and to meet people. Have you ever dated somebody you did meet in a club, though? No. Never. I, I, I just feel like you can, you know what I'm saying? If you meet somebody in the club, you can have them. They could be your little yeah, but like go on. <laughs> your little what? Yeah. <laughs> little yeah. <laughs> little yeah? Yeah. <laughs> but like go, <laughs> but going into a relationship, <laughs> that's just like you know you finna get your feelings hurt. Like, so where do you meet guys? <laughs> where have you meeting them at? The studio probably now, right? Church? I don't be talking to dude. You be going to church? <laughs> Christian Mingle? <laughs> <laughs> so you don't talk I, to nobody? You know, I do what I do. Who's your little yeah? <laughs> <laughs> it don't sound like what you said. It don't sound like what you Who's said. Who's your little yeah? <laughs> like what you, said. <laughs> you know, I just be doing what I do. Because <laughs> <laughs> I want to know where do you meet people then in that case? I mean, you just meet people, but. I'll talk about you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why are you, you blushing? Why are you blushing, You definitely blushing right now. Why are you blushing? <laughs> you blushing. Huh? Y'all play something with Who is this person? Y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can just meet people. Okay, okay. <laughs> she be real vague. <laughs> How many people slid in your DMs? That, do you meet them in DMs? Do you, you respond to people in your DMs? I feel like that's risky. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that is risky. Like, I feel like it's been a lot of people that slid in my DMs, but I don't... Like, I get them like that, be like, what's your number? I'm thinking they're trying to work. 
soon as I get on my number, they be on some, what's up with you? You know what I'm saying? I don't even text back after that. Do you have people that you DM before you blew up that never responded, but now they responded yeah, back? Yeah, I be going unsending all my messages. <laughs> <laughs> you be unsending them? Why? Because. When did they start should've... allowing that? Because I feel like the unsend thing is kind of newer. You know they can see it when is. you unsend. Nah, they can't see your name. Yes, they do. The name don't pop up on Instagram. He just say a message was unseen from a messenger or something like really? that. Really? Yeah, you don't say your name. Oh, okay. On Facebook, it's like, your name. <laughs> Not on Instagram, though. Because there be a lot of people unseen like messages, and I don't be knowing who it be. It's just the notification pop up. I don't know how I like that feature. Like now, is Nut Quick based on a real experience? Yeah. I done had a couple Nut Quick experience. Damn. Do you give it a second chance? She said no. Nope. Do they know this song is about them? Because <laughs> they could just be excited well, for that one time. It's the, it, you know, it happens. Um, you know, <laughs> sometimes it just be what it be. <laughs> Why you blessing so listen, boy? You <laughs> a lot today. So, so if you're a little yeah nut quick, what do you call them after that? No. Okay, so my little yeah <laughs> who I see a lot. It's understandable if they do it. You know, sometimes people can do it. Sometimes they have their bad days and mm -hmm. they just, uh. Then sometimes it be the days where they go long and they be like, damn, where is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of not fair because girls can nut quick and it's okay. So like, what it? girl you know be nut quick? <laughs> it, could, it could happen. It, you know, it could happen. It's only one way that I feel like a female can nut quick and it's with a toy. A toy? You think that's the only way? Yeah, like you can nut off head. I feel like girls don't get a nut off six. So you've never had an orgasm? Off six. No. Off oh, head. What is six? Sex. <laughs> six. Shut up. What about seven? Six. Do you nut off seven? Oh, my seven? God. Six. You know what? Glorilla, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I, I need you to meet somebody because there's a woman we all know in this room who had a similar problem. And she could not come from sex. She's not in there. Oh, I've had that person? woman in this room. She's like, where that is? We're, we're talking like, about like, where the hell is that woman in this room? for 10 years. My wife. My oh, wife. man. I, I for real? Have, yeah. And, and then she finally... You know, Envy finally used this thing like a toy. <laughs> I was 15, Glorilla. Me and my wife been together since 15, and I didn't know what I was doing. I used to watch porn, and porn, you go bang, 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 bang. So what happened to make her do it? One time, you know his I, name? Thought I, I thought I was doing my thing. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him. One, one time I thought I was doing my thing, we got into an argument, and then she was like, you ain't make me nut. And then we got into the, yeah, I, yeah, I cried. But um, <laughs> not, what's funny about that? <laughs> what's funny about that? Oh, my God, Gorilla, really, I really want you to have an orgasm during sex. But we fixed that problem. I, I can have, I have them a lot when I get here, but not. But I'm talking about during intercourse. We got to figure it out. Yeah, I, we got to figure it out. Like, how you do it? I think the she easiest said, way is if, <laughs> the easiest way is probably if you're on top. Are you an on top type of woman? <laughs> a little bit. I be getting tired. Okay. <laughs> and then maybe... Uh, do you know. have these kind of conversations with the old women in your life? Oh, no. Okay. I'm just, as you know. Uh, and then maybe you need more <laughs> foreplay. Are you into foreplay? Angela, you having conversations uh -huh. with her that our aunties don't have with her. <laughs> Why are you telling and her about I the like birds these, and the bees? I be watching. I be watching. You uh, talk to her? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, be, I be trying to see, like, what? Like, how do you do that? No, that is a, it is a big deal, though, for a lot of women, because until we learn, like, how to teach a guy how to do it, are you vocal? Like, do you tell him this is what you You're need to vocal. do? You're not vocal. You're not vocal. I'm vocal. You tell him what to do? Yeah. Oh. She seemed like she... Well, you got to get another But, year. you know, I saw somewhere it said it's only a 11% chance or a female can't have an orgasm off six. I think once you know how, you could do it all the time. Yeah, but once you learn it's your woman's body, you know how. You know, because I was you, the same way. Mm -hmm. Only head. So I it took you my, 10 years, all right? 10 years. <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> I said 15. I don't feel so really, we don't have 10 years for you. We gotta get this. <laughs> so how long it took you? We need to. I was, you know what? Once I was yeah, able to go. come from um, oral sex, there then that really let me There's learn a, how a, I a, could come. Go ahead, you go. This book's for you. Okay, My wife then. talks about it. Yeah, she talks about it. Because oh, it's good. 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 Marilla says she ain't got okay. time to wait no 10 years, <laughs> man. She need another book. Can you give us something? Yeah, I gotta read these. That one ain't gonna do it. Okay, then. All right, well, look, we right, just learned a lot quick. already. <laughs> but, all right, so I want to ask you, in the beginning of the EP, you also um, just talk about just how, like, you got to figure out what's I meant to be here, what's going on, and you have to think about your purpose. You know, what inspired you to write about that, and how have things changed, even with the people around you and the circle that you have, or have they? Um. Okay, so I'm going to say this. A lot of songs off the EP I had already made, mm -hmm. like, before I had blew up. 
But you know, it's just I I just be writing about my real life stuff that happened. Or sometimes I don't write about my real life. I just write about a topic, and it just seems so real because I know a lot of people go through it. But what's the other question about my friends? Oh, like how's your circle? How how has that changed for you? Because sometimes your friends maybe act a little different as they see you getting busier and maybe not having the same amount of time to hang mm-hmm. out like you used to. Also, sometimes people get nervous, like she about to blow up and forget about us. Nah, my friends ain't like that. You know Some of the people you should forget about, though. Well, I don't hang around nobody who I should forget about. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> like, all of them, they been supporting me since day one, and they still act the same. Like, none of this didn't change. They just super proud, super mm-hmm. happy for me. You still live in Memphis? Uh-huh. Now you said, do I still live in Memphis? Mm-hmm. I live in my suitcase. I'm trying yeah, to move to Atlanta, but it's like, it, it's real hard finding. It's like right now in the real estate, it's just so hard looking for a house right now, but I don't want to just move, and it ain't what I want. How about the other uh, female rappers? How, how, how have they treated you in the industry? Have they been cool? Because a lot of times it's, it's difficult for female rappers. Cardi like, definitely embraced you. It seems like yeah, they fight. Yeah, that's my cousin. Word. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I fuck with all the female rappers. Ain't nobody gave me no hard times. Mm-hmm. Yep. What's your favorite song on the EP, guys? I'm going to say mine was Uh Uh. For real? Yeah, yeah, I like that song. But there's one line on there that always make me laugh. Which one? The one where you say, Your pussy fat, and they be thinking it's <laughs> a bitch. I'm like, I don't know. That's but... your favorite line? <laughs> no, I didn't say it's my favorite. But it just makes me laugh. It's just, no, I didn't say it's my favorite line. It's my favorite song on the EP, but that line always makes me laugh every uh... time I hear it. Because I had, like, it be certain pictures I didn't post it, and, like, it'll just go viral. Cause I, be, I be on Facebook a lot. So, uh, they'll be sharing it, talking about some, I got on some fake panties that got a fake coochie in there. <laughs> or somebody be like, she, um, is she, like, was she, is she a transgender? Like, because <laughs> no way a coochie that fit. Has there ever been a man that's been disappointed it wasn't a dick? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? We just saw Jess Hilarious personal. having this conversation with Don't Call <laughs> Don't Call Me White Girl. And Jess said that there was a guy who tried to fly her out, but when the guy found out she wasn't transgender, he didn't want to fly her out again. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. There's heavy people trying to be funny on Facebook. <laughs> oh, on the internet. But cause you know, some clothes I wear, you just be I can't hide it. And they just be like, that's fake. That ain't real. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's a good problem to have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Life's great. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, Charlamagne. What do you mean, okay, Charlamagne? What I got to do with me? No, I wanted to ask you know, there was um, (laughs) when your record came out the last couple of weeks, there was a discrepancy about the record, how it came out, and points and all that. Was that ever taken care of and all that's done and and fixed and finished? What record? Mm -hmm. Have you worked things out with Hit Kid? I think is what he's asking. (laughs) You know, anything, anything. For sure. That's your little yeah, little yeah, yeah. little yeah. Yeah. Now, you do you know what a little yeah means? No. The yeah is a little yeah. Okay. He gonna start using that now. He's I am. Sound terrible. <laughs> That's a little yeah. Are you... <laughs> yeah. So everything good with you and Hit Kid? No, we from Memphis. We straight. I don't know what that means. I, that's not like I need to mind my business. <laughs> <laughs> she, she ain't gonna give you the tea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, everything, everything. You said you never got paid from FNF though, right? Everything, still everything. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Because it got you where you need to be. Yeah, you hear me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mo Heat. That's right. Yeah. And you got another record that's about to be number one. Tomorrow? Right Cardi B. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that record's almost there. It'll be there this week, I'm sure. Ooh, I love it. Manifestation. Power yeah. in the tongue. Number one. Let's go. Do you feel like, you know, uh, with the way you've taken off so fast, like, you know, is it going to be hard to sustain that? You think? Like what you mean? Like if F&F is a hit. Tomorrow about to be a hit. Mm-hmm. What's you, a hit now? Do, do, it's a hit now, but do you feel like you know you gotta do that every single time? I do kind of feel like I do Damn. feel like this. So like sometimes I do be overthinking. Like in my writing process, I be like, like sometimes I hear a beat and I write a whole song. Then if I like before I go record, I rap it in my head. I be like, nah, this ain't no. And so I just scratch the whole thing. Be like, let me hear another beat. Uh, so I be hard on myself for a little bit. Yeah, that's going to make the process less fun, though. Because, I mean, you got these records by just simply having fun and doing what you love. But I always been like that, though. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll write a song, and if I don't think it's sound how I want it to sound, I ain't, I ain't going to record it. Mm-hmm. I saw some people saying that they felt like this project didn't have, like, that Memphis 
sound that they used to from you. Do you think that's fair criticism? I ain't know nobody said that, but that's crazy because, like I said, a lot of them songs I already made. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of them songs are songs I've been made before I blew up. So that's probably just in people's head. Yeah. You know what I mean? You done popped off, so now they want to be quick to say you changed. Yeah, yeah. like, um, it's one of them songs, they were like, her teeth was too big. I think they were blitz. They were like, uh, her veneers, her teeth too big. And I made that song, I ain't even had my veneers in yet. That's a great veneer job. <laughs> I didn't know you had veneers. So you For said real? it's just not no. Because usually new veneers, new artists with veneers be big as shit. <laughs> yours, <laughs> yours look Shout out regular. Dr. <laughs> Dr. Who? Dr. Curry from Memphis. Dr. Okay. <laughs> How did you hook up with old Cardi B? How did y'all get together? Um. Okay, so like when I had first blew up, she was already congratulating me, sending me like motivational DMs and stuff. And so uh, I was in the studio one day. I had, I got this another song I had recorded. And I'm like, who I hear on her? So I'm like, I right, fuck, let me DM Cardi I can hear on her. So I'm DMing her. I'm like, uh, I want you on this song. She was like, girl, I already did my verse to tomorrow. I'm like, what? I ain't know. Like, God and them tried to surprise me and oh. do it. And so I ain't know nothing about it. And so... I'm texting her. She telling me. She sending me the audio. I'm like, oh my god, she did so good. So they walk in the room. I said, so y'all want to go tell me about this Cardi feature? <laughs> they was like, how you find out? <laughs> so they tried to surprise you. Yeah, they tried to surprise me with the feature and stuff. And so she had by me DMing her, asking her to go on the other song. She had already. She ended up texting me and telling me that she had already did tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Uh, they should have gave her a heads up that it was a surprise. Uh -huh. I'm say <laughs> now, do guys ever get mad about any of the lyrics? Like, say anybody you used to date. Have they ever? Nobody I used to date, I give a fuck about. And I don't talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> At all, period. I don't <laughs> cry. So those lyrics are real. <laughs> yeah. They probably be feeling a certain type of way because sometimes I'll, like, I, I say, like, I be shitting on my ex a lot in my music, but <laughs> I'm, I'm not just always talking about one, or I might just think of something in my head and say it about an ex, and they just be probably thinking I'm talking about them, and I don't be talking about them. I mean, so real exes them you got? I don't got them. I got, like, none. No. <laughs> <laughs> For real. You just so came up with this to, number? Nobody tried to reach out to you? None of your exes want that old thing back? Um, When I had first blew up, you know they were coming, but it's just like, no. Why so, okay, what makes somebody an ex? Like, what makes you break up with somebody or say this ain't it? You know, niggas ain't shit. Like, they just be lying. They be cheating and shit. You know the normal breakup shit. Black you men go don't through cheat. phones? I, I used to. I'd never in my life go through another phone. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Why? You found what you was looking for, huh? I ain't got time to be losing 20 pounds. Like, I'm already little. I ain't gonna go through no phone. Damn, but somebody had you scratched out that bad? Oh, I lost my appetite real bad. Oh, my God. I said I ain't never, I don't give a fuck what I think. That phone will be right here unlocking my face. I ain't picking it up. What made you lose the appetite? <laughs> was that, was that your um, ex that was, was messing with your ex-friend? Nah, that okay. was a different one. Goodness gracious. <laughs> what makes you lose the appetite? You found out he was eating somebody else's ass, or what happened? Man, he just be like, you talk, you say the same shit to me that you saying to them, uh, like, ooh. Uh, ooh. Uh, ooh. And he just, like, just throw my whole appetite off. Like, I'm the type of person, if I, if I fuck with you and I'm talking to you, I really like you. And, like, I don't know, my emotion be so strong. That's why it be so hard now because, like, if you play with me, it's, like, going to do something to me. Like, I'm going to lose my appetite for a long time. My whole everything going to be off. I'm not going to be on point. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna be focused, so that's why I be like hard now. So your What's staff your son? gotta make sure, you Leo. Leo, okay. So your staff gotta make sure you, the niggas you fucking with is, is good people because they can fuck up the whole business. Yeah, for so real. So they be on them harder than you, then. <laughs> well, you ain't got nobody to mess with now. You too busy focused on work. Yeah, you can't trust none paper. of these guys now. You definitely can't trust them. But now. you said you hard now, though. I am hard. I'm I'm, I'm hard. I'm... Hmm. <laughs> she said, hmm. Why you say like no, that? because. I just feel like at some point you're gonna give somebody a chance, but when you're ready, because I do think it's a time for you to focus on your music. Yeah, you know it's most definitely, it's most definitely like I ain't just saying all the way no to love. I most definitely feel like it's good love out there, but a lot of love, and especially coming from my generation, it just ain't what it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And what's, what's your thoughts on plastic surgery? They said you don't believe in plastic surgery, you, you won't go into plastic surgery. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. But you know, like I said, no, I like that because it, it shows kids and, and and younger women that you just love your body and you don't have to 
do anything, you know, to, to bigger libs or bigger this or bigger that. I, I used that. to find it hilarious when you used to tweet out, I'm thick and can't nobody tell me different. I'm thick <laughs> as fuck. And people have me. Is that the camera? This, can I show the camera? Right I got to show the camera how thick I am. Hold on. <laughs> Y'all see that ass? <laughs> not look. He turned all the way around. <laughs> hey, the camera. I'm thick as fuck. And a lot of people don't know Charlamagne that. Charlamagne and Evie not, both not Because we are hateful <laughs> black males. I got to show the camera. Black men don't cheat. <laughs> Nice you know what I mean? It's for the camera. Plus, she's a young girl. She's 22 years old. 23. Like 23. 23, yeah. I had to show the camera. I'm going to show on y'all. Yeah. <laughs> How long did it take for the wigs and everything to catch up with the stardom? Like the wigs and the clothes and all of that? Like what you mean? Like, you know, because you blew up fast, but then you got to make sure everything on point. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, it took a long time. Because when I first started, I ain't really, like, I was doing anything by myself, like finding her status and anything. I used to get fucked up a lot, like. <laughs> they used to fuck me up. I used to be so mad. Then it'd be time like they would fuck me up. And now I had like, what, about 10 minutes to get to the show. I'd be like, oh, my God, I'm finna look a mess. Then, like, I'd get posted, go viral because I'd be looking a mess. But now <laughs> everything, everything got everything better now. Who, who, who put you on? Like, who said, nah, this is what you need to be doing. Call this person. You know, God and them, he got somebody in the door for me. <laughs> to go. I mean, sure it's ex- it's expen- right? it is expensive. Yeah. Let's be clear to have to handle that. But you look good. Thank you. And I was getting a lot of free shit when I first started, too. Mm-hmm. This probably why I was getting a lot of free fuck up. <laughs> free fuck up? <laughs> you get what free you pay for. Up. <laughs> you get what yeah. you don't pay for. <laughs> yeah. Now, I saw you and little Duval had a little back. Well, you let him have it. Yeah, I let him have it. What about you? Her name, oh. Gloria Hallelujah. <laughs> That's a fire name. <laughs> yeah. Your parents was into the church? Yeah, my mama yeah. Maria, uh, holy, like, she in church, in church. So what does she think about your music when she hears your music, twerking on the headlights? Because, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Today. That's what I mean, she's scared, right? <laughs> what, what did mama say about that? She, you know what I'm saying, we from the hood, see, like, we went to church, but at the same time, we were still in the hood, so. And she probably grew up off Gangsta Boo and La Chat, yeah. you know what I mean? Well, my mama older than them. For real? Yeah, my mama like finna be sixty. She the fifth and I know sixty. Okay. She gonna get mad at me if she watched this interview and I don't know her age. But um, <laughs> yeah, she um, ever since I've been knowing my mama and old enough, like she been a godly woman. But you know, my mom from South Memphis. So my mama gang, so my mom know about that. Mm-hmm. But she raised us in church. But like I said, we were still in the hood at the same time, still going to school with all the ratchet shit. So how Did many you have in the choir? You have? Uh. I got nine. Wow. Yeah, I was in the choir. You was in the choir? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> so you got nine siblings? Six. It's six boys and four girls. So Jeez. y'all must have been having some fun growing up. Uh, A lot of fighting, though. <laughs> yeah, we used to get to fighting a lot. A whole lot. Nobody ever fucked with y'all family. That many people. <laughs> nah. Ten of us. Ten of y'all? <laughs> Jesus. What you used to sing in the choir? I used to sing Amazing Grace. I used to sing uh, this song called Encourage Yourself. Mm-hmm. You know that? Mm-mm. You know, because sometimes you have to encourage, encourage. yourself. I ain't never heard it. <laughs> wait, 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 why was he pretending to sing? You sing singing with it. Because, you know, <laughs> he was a singer to start with, right? Originally, uh-huh. you were really a singer. Yeah, I used to be singing in the church. Like, I had a good voice. Mm-hmm. And then, once I had gotten in high school, we weren't going to church like that. When I got in high school, then I started. When I got in high school, I had to start smoking weed. And forget the singing. You think you would do like songs just singing now though? Yeah, like I wanna uh, you know what I'm saying, get a vocal coach and mm-hmm. do some singing cause like I can write some good singing songs, but I just can't sing them. And I don't feel I don't got time to be asking anybody for features. No, that's a good idea. I think you should do that. Yeah. That well, definitely, I'm working Glory on. Hallelujah is way more fire than Glorilla. As a rap name, <laughs> that would be hard. <laughs> Glory, hallelujah. It'll be a good gospel name. No, any name, period. You still a child of God. Glory, hallelujah. Yes. In how I rap? Huh? In how I rap? Yes. Oh, Why not? God. That's what you know. Uh-huh. Them problems, it's still who you <laughs> are regardless. I, I ain't even to play with you. We, we <laughs> like Glorilla. God yeah. know your heart. You know my heart. Mm-hmm. We now, see your glory for the rap night. <laughs> what would you say is the wildest thing you've ever done? Mm, wild. I did a lot of wild shit. All right, but what stands out in your head when I ask you? Like that? what? You like in relationship style? Like um, what you? There's something that they like. That's Glorilla. She wild as hell. Something you did in church? <laughs> no, I ain't do nothing bad in church. Don't do that. Outside of the church. 
I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that in church, at church, around church. Um, I did a lot of wild shit. Some shit I can't speak on. <laughs> That's how you know it's wild. Yeah. I will give us something that you can speak on. I'm trying to think that you would never have key such, somebody car. That you would have such a reputation. Nah. Never keep nobody car. Ah, it's sad to say. You ever stole a bottle out the club? Stole a really bottle, wild. like take a take a bottle home out of out of somebody else's section. Nah. Um. Let her answer. She's about to... I, yeah, I, I like what he's doing. I'm trying to help her out. Because I can't she really think. They're giving you multiple choice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What I need to And be urinated in a, um, in a thing in the club with a bottle, holding the bottle, the ice bucket, which is so disgusting. Nobody else did that before? You be in the club, you can't get to the bathroom, the club is packed? He peed in the ago. bucket that held the I never ice. never did that. That's disgusting. That made me That's never... super nasty. Uh-huh. I never did no stuff like that. It was a long time ago. <laughs> I'm not a club person. No, I used to go to the club at first in Memphis. Then, like, I didn't been in a lot of shootouts in Memphis clubs, and so I'm not a club person. I've been so. to a Memphis club one time, big ass club. Gotti actually hit me and asked me why I was there, but somebody <laughs> got shot in the leg in the club, right? What club there was? Mm, I don't know. All, all I know is the club. There was a big <laughs> parking lot around it. There's a parking <laughs> lot in the front and around the side, and then there's like a. a I don't How know. long ago it was? This had to be about five years ago. It won't be live. Was it won a strip club? Oh no, it wasn't a strip club. Mm. But he got shot in the leg in the club. They got him out and everybody partied again. It was the, the craziest thing ever. Wow. Mm. Yeah, see, I've been in a couple of uh, shoot ass up in clubs. And so I, like, that's why I'm not big on clubs now. I only go when I'm booked. Like, I'm not a club person. That's smart. At all. It's work. Yeah, like, you go to the club when it's work. And that's that. Yeah, that's why I'm saying that. I'm not a club person. So that's why I said if a dude in the club, I'm not going to take him serious. Guy yeah. actually FaceTimed me and told me to leave. He was like, what are you doing? And he told me, oh, I remember that. Do you, um, how do you approach working on your album as opposed to this EP? Um, like I said, a lot of, on the EP, it was half new, half old. Mm -hmm. On this um album I'm going to work on, it's going to be like a whole lot of different stuff. Like, I'm trying to like put every come from different perspectives. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just going to be a beautiful masterpiece. And I saw some of your dream collaborations with Chief Keith and Beyonce. Yeah. Have you reached out to either one of them yet? Or have they reached out to you? You know, I used to blow Beyonce up uh, every day. When I, you know, I'm, I'm captain of the Beehive. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I always, <laughs> I be blowing up anyway. Can't respond it? No. <laughs> but, um. Eventually. He will. Yeah, one day, hopefully. <laughs> You said one day hope? One day hope? Hopefully. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, damn, I mean, I can't. that ain't gonna work. <laughs> one day hope. <laughs> what about Chief Keith? Um, you know, now. <laughs> that mean they got a song already in the tuck. <laughs> no, nah, not shit. Hopefully one day. Okay. I'm trying to get it, get it in work. Now, okay. your best friend is a rapper also, right? Yeah. Gloss up. What was your plan before? Like, was it a whoever get on first? What was the plan behind the scenes before you got signed and before she got signed? We used to always say, you know what I'm saying, whoever blow up first, we just going to be in this shit together. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We used to talk about it all the time. We never knew when it was going to happen. So when it happened, it was, it was like so fast and so quick. Did y'all want to be in a group together originally? Was that ever a conversation? They wanted to do the group. I never wanted to do the group. Like, you know, I watched TLC movies and shit, so I never wanted to do the group shit at all. But I like working with them. The other girls mm -hmm. who I make songs, I, I love working with them, like doing projects, but like being a group, I never wanted to do that. Why? Like I said, I used to watch the group movies. <laughs> oh, you mean TLC? Yeah. Okay. The TLC movies, uh, what other movie? Uh, Five Heartbeats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you just thought that y'all were just... Big automatically up. have tension or the labels would jerk y'all. You know, it, it's I never just like a lot of times with groups it never work out. You know what I'm saying? Then especially being five girls, like our vibes are always good. We never had no problems mm -hmm. and shit like that. But until the money get involved, yeah, you know, shit just change. You know, and I, I, you know, it's certain shit you be like I fuck with you, so I don't even want to have to get to that point right. with you because I fuck with you so much, so I'm just gonna avoid it because I know for a fact some problems gonna come with this shit. And so I'm just going to avoid it by not putting yourself in that situation. Yeah. That's good. You move on your own. You make decisions for yourself that you want to make. And then when you want to work with people, you can. We used to be a group yeah. up here. One of the members leaving. Oh, F and F, baby. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. I love Why does that make you so mad, Envy? Nothing. I'm just saying. We used to be a group. They going to miss you. Group is in. Yeah, I'm going to miss you, too. Well, I'm going to be on right after from 10 to 2. Way up with Angela Yee. Gloria yeah. will definitely be on there. You know? Yes, I'm excited. When is the album coming out? The full length? Um, We ain't got a certain, uh, specific date yet. Okay. Well, are you it's even coming. in a rush? You're not in no rush. Are you? You feel like you got to capitalize on this moment? Yeah and no. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Your tour sold out like immediately. Fast, yeah. Yep. When you posted the dates. Congratulations on that because that's a huge, that must have felt really good. Thank you. Yes, it did. Like, I didn't know, pe- like, I know people love me, but like, I'm still in shock with a lot of mm-hmm. shit. Like, I'm like, okay, hopefully, hopefully it's still out. And so when it sold out less than 24 hours, I was like, oh my God, they love me like that. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, that I was trying a, to think. When the, the, the last woman rapper from Memphis was was it Gangsta Boo on the chat? Them, it, um, Juicy Fruit. I don't know Juicy Fruit. Yeah, I know Juicy Fruit. Mm-mm. Yeah, I think we do. I don't know Juicy Fruit. Mm-hmm. What was the song? Um, she got the song "Shake That Ass." Let me see what you got. Shake That Ass. She got the, the, the old, old song. school nineties. That's a. It's her she, and um, what's that dude name right? on that song Juicy Fruit? That Shake That Ass song. I can't think. Like, like, we I can't know. think. But <laughs> she got her song on P Valley. Okay, okay. That's why. Okay, that's yeah. why we know Juicy Fruit. Yeah. Uh huh. Were you ever inspired by Gangsta Boo in the chat and all that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Real gangster shit. Mm-hmm. Like, have they reached out? In- yeah. Okay. I was actually uh Gangsta Boo used to reach out to me like before I blew up. Mm-hmm. Like when me and the girls had first started working together. Mm-hmm. She was reaching out to all of us. Like, mm-hmm. she loved this shit. Oh, that's nice. That's, dope. that's yeah. a good feeling. Uh-huh. What's the craziest person that's reached out that you like, damn, I can't believe this person? It was Shaq. When, uh, when, I, when I first blew up, when I was first blowing up, it was like the second day. Shaq ticked, but he DM me. He was like, uh, I fuck with the new single. I was like, Shaq, you listen to me? <laughs> like, I used to watch it. Like, I was a Lakers fan back when him and Kobe used to play together. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, damn, what the fuck? Shaq, I love Shaq. So they were crazy. You definitely can get a bag out of him. Big trick. Salute to Shaq. Shaq to Shaq, Let's get into a joint. What you want to hear off the album? What you want to hear off the EP? Um, get that money. Get that money. Yep. <laughs> Good segue. <laughs> what a segue, right? Good segue, Big Glow. Shaq, Charlamagne said, you get that bag, get that money, baby. Let's go. <laughs> well, we appreciate it. Well, she forgot something? What she forgot? Ah, yeah, that was Zazilla and Juicy Fruit. Zazilla, okay. Yeah. Well, let's get into the record. We appreciate you for joining us. The EP is out mm-hmm. this Friday. Continued success, Big Absolutely. Glow. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, it's Glorilla. Hey. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.